Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about storing your 223 or 556 ammo in bandoliers. Alright, so what you see in front of you here is a modern bandolier for ammo storage along with some ammo and a stripper clip and some loose rounds and a cardboard box. Now, I know some of you might be familiar with this and some of you may not be, but uh, during the Vietnam War these were set up a little differently. You know, they didn't have room for three um, ten round stripper clips. They only had room for two and they had more pockets and so it was a little different. But if you're not familiar with them, a proper bandolier contains a cloth bandolier, ammo on stripper clips, the cardboard inserts and for the bandolier pocket, a stripper clip guide, which is over here. This is called a spoon. And a lot of guys like to take a safety pin and just stick it on the corner there. And uh, that's about it. So this is pretty much how they've been packing ammo since Vietnam. The idea isn't to carry all the stuff around and then load magazines from strippers in the middle of a battle. The idea is to have an efficient way and convenient way to transport a basic load out of ammo. Now the original bandoliers were seven pockets and they had 20 rounds each in each pocket. Um, but now since we've gone to 30 round magazines, they're four with four pockets with 30 in each. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. Um, you can order these from any of the online shops like Keep Shooting or any of the surplus places. And these are modern, these are current, you know, military surplus, military issue. Uh, basically what you start to do is you get a stripper clip. Now I'll show you what a stripper clip looks like up close. This is actually a clip, not a magazine. <laughs> you'll take one of these little tabs here and you'll bend it flat. And you'll start loading your ammo on its rim into the clip, like that. And you'll do that, let me make sure I get more rounds here, with 10 rounds until it's completely full. There you go. And they really slide on. Now some stripper clips, because I get them in bulk like this, and sometimes they will be um, very, very stiff. Resist the urge to put any kind of lubrication on them. You do not want lubrication floating around in your primary area. Just use them, work them in. The idea is once you get that fully loaded, you'll take your fully loaded one and toss it in here. And, you know, I kind of go opposite directions. And there you go. That's a full cardboard that you then place inside here. And you have one pocket loaded. And you load the rest in. But the idea behind this is it makes your magazines very easy to load. This is like the original speed loader. Now I brought out some examples of magazines. I prefer these, although I have a bunch of the Magpul. But I prefer these. These are the original GI aluminum magazines. This is a newer one. Um, with the Magpul follower in it. You'll take your spoon, okay? You're going to place that spoon over the end of your magazine like that, okay? This is a stripper clip guide. You unhole, unfold one of those little pieces on the end there, and you just load your stripper clip in like that. Then, now watch me screw this up on camera. Oh, no, perfect. You load your rounds in there, and you just take that off, and you're done. Works real simple. You do it three times, you got a full magazine. Um, these will fit on your mag pull mags. It'll feel like they don't, but they will fit. You'll notice these lines here. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, that little line there. That is actually for the guide to go over on. So these will load your P mags as well as your old traditional mags. They'll load your 10, 20 round mags. Doesn't matter the size. Um, it just matters that they have a place for the spoon to go on and load up easily. So that's about it. I'll let you see what a fully loaded one looks like. And this will give you a full loadout. Now what I like to do when I load this up, I'll show you. What I like to do with these is store them in ammo cans. And I usually will take the lot number off of the box of ammo that I'm loading and stick it in here. Just in case I have a problem, I'll put it at the bottom of the first one. Um, this one actually came like this, so I don't have a lot number. That might actually be the lot number. I don't know. I know it's Lake City. Um, get that in there. All right, so there you go. Now what I like to do is kind of fold it over like that, 
put this flat on the bottom and take this, which is your bandolier part, tuck it in there, flatten it out, and that fits right in an ammo can. You can fit about four or five of these in your ammo cans. So anyway, that is the 223556 bandolier. This is another way to store your ammo, makes it a little easier to grab. If I gotta grab this in a hurry, I just take that and I'm out of here. Put it on me, carry it with me. Easy way to carry a full load out of ammo. Anyway, thanks for watching and we will talk to you guys soon.